with, with regards to what you were saying, I think the, the, I don't know how we got talking about the outsourcing of that particular yeah. service, because I think it, I sort of tongue in cheek said this to those guys who were sitting in the hallway. I mean, we could essentially do that with any one of our services that we offer as a city. I mean, I kind of was joking with these guys when they were sitting in the hallway, but literally there are opportunities that I think, without being flippant about it, that we could certainly look at. And I, and I really mean that. I mean, why, why couldn't we do that with any of the other things that we do and taking a look at outsourcing those services? And so I think it's a valid, conversation. My question is, Mr. All, it seems like the majority of the, the summative information is really on the last, second to last slide. I don't know if you're, because of the interest of time, if you'd be willing to forego some of those individual oh. ones, but if you want to look at that second to last one when it talks about really the recommendations component of it. Sure. There are some substantial increases from 11 and 12, and so maybe uh, I'll, I'll let you highlight those, but then I have a, a specific one if, if okay. that's all right. I will get there very quickly. So um, we're going to move through. Well, not quite as quickly as you thought. If, <laughs> all right. Uh, do you have more that you wanted to say? Or? I'll hold it up. Okay. Proceed okay. then. Council, we'll get to the summary on this, but uh, clearly the, the, the point, um, there's no expansion. Clearly from our standpoint as staff, the critical decision is with this $350,000 plus the debt service. You add those two together, that's your levy increase. The rest of it is simply money shifting around. Okay? Um, I do want to note this does put us on a recovery of five to seven years. So I was told to hurry, and I will. Uh, the IT is no change. Legislative's 8850. Parks, no change. Police Department, 179. Council, I do need to spend one second here. Uh, this is a change. We originally had this at zero and said we were going to take a gamble to do the squad cars. Uh, we could still take that gamble and that could be zero, okay? So that's your option. The other item, uh, Chief Tamala, in 12 seconds or less, how are we doing on the liaison revenue? 11, 10. As of Friday afternoon, uh, we have a verbal commitment from the school district that we will be funded at a level of $60,000 for the coming school year when we were in jeopardy of having none. So, Council, you could take that 62 and make it zero. So there's a $60,000 cut. Um, remember, the force remains at the 2010 level of 53 sworn officers. Okay, I know I'm supposed to move quickly. Here we go. Public Works, uh, 89, substantial reductions there. You heard from Mr. Thompson about that. Uh, performance measurements are showing. Tartan has gone to zero. Taste of Maplewood. Uh, we're providing $20,000, although Karen's going to have a new report on that at some point in time. Um, so the 2012 levy reductions. Council, understand these are the differences. In the general fund, these are your operating expenses. You told us to reduce expenses to operate. We are reducing expenses by 4.6%, our operating costs. The general fund will go from $12.98 million to $12.38 million, nearly $600,000 in operating cost reductions, okay? Uh, second line item, the ambulance fund then shows an increase from zero up to 350. The MCC shows an increase from 340,000 up to 460. The rec program fund we talked about, 225 down to 200. The capital improvements fund, from zero up to $340,000 with all those shifts, and this puts $200,000 from uh, the police department expansion into that category. The fire truck replacement fund from zero up to $100,000. Park development remains at zero. Redevelopment fund at zero. Debt service from 3.95 up to 4.2 million for a total levy, 17.5 in, in 11 up to 18.04 in 12. So, council, um, just other talking about the last dates and the next part of the process. That is our management team staff presentation on our recommended budget at this point. Okay, so I had one more thing on my list of things to talk about tonight, and so I'll do it quickly. <clears throat> um, so I talked about, I understand that, that we operate as a, as a team, um, but I gotta tell you that, that Mr. Kaneko does an excellent job of making sure that the council knows every time he does something to save us money. Um, and 
and that I think is a plus. I mean, we got we won awards. We've uh, during the course of the year for the uh, recreational programming thing. Uh, he's done, in my opinion, a heck of a job so far with the uh, uh, purchase of the Fish Creek area, and um, and then. Let's see, what else, what else are you doing? Oh, in reorganizing the community center uh, to try to get us in that five-year program. And so, so I know, yeah, Subway, you know, first in the nation, Subway's gone into a, uh, a recreational facility. And as I said before, I realize it's a team approach. It's not him doing it. But we, I certainly know what it is that he's doing uh, and the efforts that he's making. I can't say the same for the other departments. You know, I know that we have been making cuts and that we're going to be operating on a, a lesser budgets, but, um, you know, they're just, when's the last time that you actually looked at comparing the ambulance fund to an outsource thing? I mean, within the last I 10 years? <laughs> Your Honor, we look at it every couple of years to see where we compare with other services that are in the area. Two things that really come into play, I mean, is, is, and, and the fact is, is that over the last two and a half years, almost three years, I should say, we've had almost, almost we've had over $350,000 in grants that we've received from the Ag. This year alone, we got a $150,000 grant to replace and, and put equipment in the place in the EMS fund that we would have never been able to do. We reduced our, our, our our medical direction by 30 was almost 38,000 down to 10,000, which Dr. Tangy was here and you talked to him about. We moved our, our sourcing of our EMS billing, which we were doing internally to externally, which took us from 134,000 down to 50,000. Okay, you can all stop. Right. You can I stop know, now. Okay. Well, <laughs> and, and so, the is there's just too many that spend all their time. Y about their time. Yes, <laughs> right. And so we need one. I, I, I have two points. We need to do a better job of highlighting and communicating that. I know that we actually do some of that, but, uh, and I'd be glad to write about it, uh, it, but I need to have information to do that. It, the other thing is, and so this is kind of a different um, point of view, um, some of the things that are happening in the parks department and some of the things that we have won awards for have to do with, um, consolidating or working with our neighbors in one way or the other. And so, again, it's easy to see what's been going on over there. And I understand that there's been conversations that you've had with other chiefs and whatnot. Um, but uh, I don't think that we really get back kind of a report. What, I, what I'd, I'd like is to know that, you know, we've approached these other fire entities or police entities maybe even citizen service entities, I'm not quite sure how that would work, um, and, and said, is there any way that we can cooperate together to reduce our, our services? And if they come back and say, no, we're not interested, well, at least we know that the offer was made. I would like to think that Maplewood it would be a leader in going out in, in, in exploring the what I see is the future way that government's going to have to operate, and we might be ahead of our time, um, but <clears throat> it doesn't hurt to ask. And, and so, so if, from my point of view, I would like to have every department explore in one way or the other what they could do with our surrounding neighbors or just with other entities that you know, help us buy something cheaper or whatever, um, but then that we know about it, that, you know, we. Here's what we did. We went out and we proposed this, or we had a meeting with these people, um, and ultimately they didn't. They weren't interested. Jim has mentioned a couple times that we tried to put together a deal with the school district uh, to kind of get this survey thing all together, and you know the school districts pulled the plug. And so at least we know that there was an effort made. And so I think that's another thing that makes me hesitate a little bit when it comes to the budget. I want to pay for things that we've committed ourselves to. <clears throat> it's nothing like voting to do something than not voting for the funding for it. Um, but I want to feel that if I'm going to be spending more money than I really want to in some cases, that, that we have done everything that we can to cut our costs and to explore all options. So 
There's my last. He's just thing. good at blowing his own horn. Maybe that's. What yeah. Well, I I, yes. I was trying to I was trying to get to that without being that direct. <laughs> Mayor, Mayor and Council, uh, in order to help us move along, uh, some of the items that we talked about tonight, I'll I'll throw out a suggestion. I know it's getting I really late. Um, if you want to turn to page 33 in your packet uh, and write some I'm numbers down again, worksheet. we're setting the maximum levy. You can move money around in the future. Um, if you would like to, cons I considered four items in here that we talked about that I threw hints at you uh, during this presentation. <laughs> Under the fire truck replacement levy, if you made that 50,000 instead of 100. If under the fund balance you made the $100,000 zero and told us to use the 75,000 legal contingency, the squad cars, 84,000, uh, you could put zero and make that out of fund balance and the liaison revenue at zero. That reduces the levy to by $296,000 to $17.74 million and that's a 1.38% increase. So, the one was the squad cars one of them. The squad cars no. were at zero. Mm -hmm. Gail says no, don't do that. Mm -mm. All right, Gail, why shouldn't we do that? Oh, I'm not for sure. Right now, I'm not sure we're going to have the funds for the carryover from this year to next year to be able to pay for them. And if this is a recurring thing that's happening in the police department budget, they're needing between two and four cars every year. If you take it out of the budget, then you've got to figure out how you're going to fit it in the next year again, too. So if we're not sure we're going to have the carryover funds to pay for them next year, why not keep that item in the budget so we're sure they're budgeted for? And if we need to cut them next year, we can if there's something, something else comes up. But you're, you know, to have to come up with it the next year. Mayor and Council, again, in using those items, and I respect certainly Gail on that, and, and it, that is not a sustainable thing. Um, you know, you can shift 50, uh, the fire truck replacement fund really is the item that if you want to go to zero on that and put some of the money back into the squad cars, again, those are dollars that we're going to move around over the next three, four months and see where we are. Those are, those are really the areas that we're talking about moving back and forth. So uh, I understand, but it is getting late. Um, and we do want you to make a decision to see and get us some direction. When do we actually have to set the maximum levy? Uh, September 12th. Not very far away. So we certainly won't know any more about that particular item by then than we do now? No. Council, um, we do not have another meeting before September 12th. So uh, certainly you can not decide tonight, but then we would bring this item back on your agenda for discussion that, uh, on that night. You do have to adopt a resolution that evening. Right, but I mean, tonight we're just going to presumably say, okay, uh, here's some additional things that we'd like to cut, maybe, yes. maybe what you've recommended, um, but we're not deciding to the 12th. Correct. Your final decision is So we'd on have the time to scheme. You do have time that. to scheme. Kathy, do you have something? Um, I was just going to say about the cooperating with your neighbors thing. Sometimes, um, in some cases, some departments may be exploring and it's just not a good idea to blab it to us until they've explored far enough for the blabbing to mean something. And um, first of all, because we might blab even if we're not supposed to, and maybe discussing it openly with us makes it seem like something we've assumed and it's not a good idea. So I think there's a lot of that going on a lot of the time and until it's ripe for us to be doing something significant about it or it's gonna make any real impact they're not, not going to tell us, and that's fine with me. I don't think I asked them any different. Yeah, I said, if they say did. no, tell us that, or tell us that you did something. Yeah, but maybe they so. don't want you to say no. John. Well, uh, so I thought I would jump into my thoughts on uh, revisions. I don't know exactly what method we're going to use, if it was going to be put all a bunch of sheets together and average them or something. But are going to go through these individually right now? For my... Well, there are a couple things that I just want to highlight, and I don't know if anybody else agrees with me. Some of it was what Chuck brought up. So first of all, uh, on the public safety levy issue, um, I agree that we need to start doing that. I would rather see us phase it in with a slightly smaller beginning. And so I would suggest a somewhat smaller number on that, uh, like 250 to begin with. Um, I would say... I would like to see some money going into the fire truck replacement fund because I'm 
concerned about just having it be zeroed out. And so whether it's 50 or 75, those are the kinds of numbers I'd be interested in. When it comes to the fund balance, I think maybe I'm okay with the idea of moving stuff from the legal contingency fund that Chuck suggested. Otherwise, I thought.